The man widowed on his wedding day is now suing after the happiest day of his life turned into a nightmare. Samantha Miller from Charlotte was killed on her wedding night in Folly Beach when an alleged drunk driver slammed into the golf cart she and her husband were riding in. Good evening to you at 10. I'm Brian Blakely. And I'm Alicia Barnes. Well, Miller's husband recently filed a wrongful death suit against that driver, but she isn't the only one named in that lawsuit. Queen City News anchor Morgan Francis joining us here in the studio with who else the groom believes is responsible for that crash. Morgan. Yeah, Alicia, Eric Hutchinson is suing that driver, Jamie Komorowski, in five area restaurants for over-serving her alcohol despite her showing signs of heavy intoxication. This case is about keeping the public and keeping all of us safe from drunk driving. A stupor of drunken haze. That's how attorneys describe the actions of Jamie Komorowski, the woman accused of driving drunk and slamming into the back of a golf cart, carrying a bride and groom just hours after they said, I do. The bride, Samantha Miller from Charlotte, died in her wedding dress. Now her widowed husband is suing Komorowski in the bars that served her during what they're calling her booze-filled day of bar hopping. Part of the reason we wanted to file the lawsuit was to get into the formal discovery process where we and the families um, can get more definite answers to some of the questions that are still a little vague to us. Police say Komorowski's blood alcohol content following the crash was 0.261, more than three times the legal limit. The plaintiffs say she was visibly intoxicated as she staggered and slurred her way through multiple establishments. From El Gallo Bar and Grill to the drop-in, Crab Shack and Snapper Jacks. Attorneys also say her employer at Taco Boy on Folly Beach regularly held team outings where alcohol consumption was encouraged. There was a almost routine gathering um, to go out to bars or a bar after their shifts or you know, in the middle of their shifts. Police say at the end of the night, Komorowski drove the opposite way of her home and accelerated to 65 miles per hour in the 25 mile hour zone. Hutchinson's attorney says what should have remained the happiest day of their lives ended in a horrifying, devastating, yet preventable tragedy. If this stops, you know, one person from getting in their car while intoxicated or helps an establishment really take a hard stand on over-serving people, you know, that's something positive that can come out of, out of this. Hutchinson, his brother-in-law, and nephew were all in the golf cart as well. They were all injured in the crash but survived. The plaintiffs are asking for monetary compensation to be determined by a jury trial. Alicia.